it's been a while, but here we are. And this is how the Teaneck project has progressed. We're about three weeks out from the finish line. A lot has happened here. You barely recognize this place from the ranch that was here. Got some new signage. Try and catch a buyer before we go out to the MLS listing. So, let's take the walkthrough. Again, we use the uh, cultured stone as an accent here along the front porch to the tiny lemonade porch here. We felt it blended it well and gave some uh, contrast to a project right next door which was very similar. So the two properties look very distinguishable. Make our way to the front door here. Okay, as you can see this is all vastly different. We switched the staircase, so now you're heading upstairs uh, right as you get to the entranceway here. Coat closet to the right. All new hardwood flooring. Maple Select stained out very nicely with a cherry border. This is intended to be the family room. Pella windows throughout. Make our way to the left here. This will be the formal dining room where you can see we've got picture molding, raised panel, uh, just it's going to look absolutely gorgeous in here, especially when we mix it up with some good color scheme. As we walk in, this, next week when we get our cabinets, we'll start resembling a kitchen. This is where the breakfast uh, area would be. So a fully functional eat-in kitchen of good size. Drop the landing in the back here, which then goes out to the expansive backyard. Let's take a quick peek in the garage. We raised the ceilings in the garage, and the ceiling in the garage uh, dropped a the biggest garage door I've ever used, and that's where our appliances for the kitchen are right now quickly stop off in here. This is just a TV room intended to be the casual family room. We have a half bathroom in here. So right, you know, right this way, we, we combine those two bedrooms into that formal living room. Let's make our way down the hall, see what else remains. The original floor plan, kind of modified out, kept this closet nice. Redid this full bathroom here. We have five and a half bathrooms in this house to go with the six bedrooms. Entrance, now this is the old master bedroom, which we've fitted out as a first floor guest room. It's got its own walk-in closet here, which we kept and expanded. And it has its own bathroom. We used a uh, jacuzzi shower base, white tile, glass mosaic. Um, put the vanities in, got a complete picture in a couple weeks. Let's see how we finished the basement, which was the old discotheque. This you won't even recognize. We came through, we did green board throughout. Mold resistant, perfect for a basement. We also did, uh, this will be the utility, we isolated the utilities. It's hard to get a picture now because we don't have electric down here. But you can see this whole area, if you could see it, is what's going to be like the home theater playroom area. Okay, and we make our way down the hallway. This space over here could be another kitchen. We put a bathroom down here. Shower tub, another more white tile, a bit of a mosaic. Put a nice functional bathroom to go with the egress window and six bedroom that we made down here. Now this is large. It expands all the way back here so right around here is where the bed and nightstand would go. There's your closet and this is intended for uh, an au pair or the live-in that would be handling all the children that are intended to be in this house. 
All right, let's head back all the way upstairs. Check out everything that's new. Railing came in last week, looks sharp. As you can see, we continued the picture molding here and chair rail. Now you get to the top of the steps here. That's gonna be built in laundry right there. So this will continue and be hidden, but you open these up and you're gonna have a washer dryer right here. Let's go to the left. They're doing the primer coat today. This is one of the sizable bedrooms upstairs. Four bedrooms total up here. We vaulted these ceilings out. It can be either a bedroom or an upstairs playroom study area for the kids. Another bedroom, smallest one, but certainly ample size. Here's the hallway bathroom. Double vanity, separate there. And some nice neutral travertine looking stone with a tub. Here's the master. We're still painting in here. Here is the walk-in closet. There's another closet over here. And let's take a look at the master bath. I love this tile scheme. So nice large shower, decked out nice coast to coast uh, with the decorative tile. Jacuzzi tub. We'll have a double vanity here as well. It'll work out great. So that is the quick tour. Check in in a few weeks. We'll have it all finished with some colors.